Today is the day of my exam. Woke up at like 7 a.m. I have Mumford and Sons new album in my ears right now. Kind of nervous. The weather is kind of cloudy. Let's do this. Yo, and I need, I need, I need, I need everyone say something fun about your experience at the university for the last. I'm off of tomorrow. Hiring. So smart right now. So smart. Okay. We need to hear Sam out. This guy has the knowledge of the world. He needs to know that these are the best people ever, including the Maslin right there. Who? We just showed her ass. Why learn my time in university? I mean, okay, this is so true. Uh, <laughs> what? Let me have my speech, man. Sam, the politician. <clears throat> yeah, okay. I mean, this is the transition we make right. from young adults yeah. to true working no, adults. In hey, don't interrupt. Don't interrupt. With the election of the conservative, conservative government this year, opportunities for working people, people of education. Okay, this gets boring now. What? Sorry. No! Listen, yeah. There's a moment for diplomacy that must be utilized. Right? Uh, uh, we are done with the exam, finally, and everyone goes celebrating with a drink at 12 a.m. 12 p.m., I should say. So, uh, yeah, gonna be fun, I guess. Someone is wasted already. Today is May 15th which is the day of my last coursework submission and I came back from university I had a feedback session with one of my teachers um, just to find out if I'm going in the right direction and all that and I've still got some things to do I'll probably spend like the next couple of hours doing them but everything is fine I know what I'm gonna do and this is going to be the very last coursework in my academic life at least for the, like, I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know if I'm gonna ever have to study again something. I don't know about that. But for at least like the next five years, I think, um, this will be the last academic submission that I will ever have to do. So after like 16 years of studying nonstop first school, and then I did like a course which was one year long, and now university that, like three years of university, um, and I just thought this was like an important moment that I want to sort of remember so I just thought I would include it in the vlog hope you don't mind um, and if you are doing some coursework like obviously now is the time when a lot of students have coursework exams and all that kind of stuff so I hope all of the students that are watching this are doing fine and handling them all and getting good grades um, but yeah, I just wanted to record this sort of moment when I finally submit the very last coursework and that's it. I'm done with the university, I graduate, I'm a grown-up person. But for now, I'll go back to it, I'll do everything that I need to do, um, I'll correct everything, I'll make sure everything is good, and I will come back to you in about now. So I'm finally done. I'm pressing the button right now upload and uh, here it is coursework 2 is the last coursework in that module and I'm done I'm done studying this is my last probably my last coursework in my academic life ever that's it I'm not, I'm never gonna call myself a student anymore. Well, most probably, but yeah. And actually, funny thing, I just remembered, back when I was at high school, after the very last, like when I was in grade 12, which is the last grade, and after like the very last exam, which was one of the, um, which was, I think, chemistry or something like that, something that I really, really didn't like and I was really annoyed by it. And back in my apartment in Dubai, where I was studying that, uh, we had a balcony, so what I decided to do is that after the exam, I came home, I opened the door to the balcony, I took the textbook for the chemistry for that subject, and I just threw it away out of the balcony, and it was epic. I know, that, I know it's really childish, but 
I was I was at high school, so yeah. So as I said, if you guys are doing any exams or anything like that, if you're a student, then best of luck because I know how you feel right now, and I know it's really stressful and sometimes it seems really hard, but just do your best and that's what counts, I think. And um, yeah, good luck. And this is how I celebrate: watching Pitch Perfect, eating chips and drinking tea. That's how the line to Tyler Oakley's YouTube show looks like, which I'm working at at the moment, as you can see. It's gonna be fun. Well, girl, I wouldn't be in this. <laughs> she's like taking a selfie and she's like, get out. <laughs> Can I, can I put this on the stage? Do you mind? Okay. Here. Adorable! Um, so you guys, I was, when I was figuring out, okay, I know I want to go back on tour, but I need to figure out where I'm going to go, and I was like, I can't do the summer party tour without coming to London. So, I was like, okay, I'll do a stop, and then it sold out in 10 minutes, so I was like, Okay, so apparently there's people in London. Uh, so I made another stop, and all of you came! So thank you for coming! So, today is Sunday. See what I did there? Sun, day, okay, whatever. And on Friday, I submitted the very last coursework that I had to do, ever. And Saturday, which was yesterday, uh, I just thought I'd spend a day at home, you know, read some books that I actually wanted to read. Because, like, because of the studying, I couldn't read anything that I was actually genuinely interested in. So I just thought I'd finally read something like that. And watched a couple of movies that I wanted to watch and all that kind of stuff. Just a very relaxed day. And one of the movies, by the way, was Pitch Perfect, which is the prequel to Pitch Perfect 2, which is showing in theaters right now. And Anna Kendrick stars in it, who is beautiful, and I want to marry her. But that aside, um, today is Sunday, and I decided to finally go for a walk. Just like go to central London and just hang around there. Because I haven't done that in what feels like forever. Because of like all the studying and stuff like that. I'm sorry for wind, by the way. I know it's really windy. And uh, yeah, I'll just take you along with me. Just chilling on the bus stop, chilling on the bus stop. That bus stop turned out to be closed, which happens rarely. So I thought it would be funny if it turned out that that guy just lay down there, people saw it, and they're like, screw it, we're closing the bus stop. 